Hi everyone, I'm Julia Melin. I'm currently living in New York City and I'm originally from Brazil. I've been here for about five years. I work as a TV host, uh, brand ambassador, stand-up comedian, and I'm really passionate about um, talking about self-love. That's something that I've struggled with all my life and I realized that maybe if I've struggled with that, a lot of other people might have had the same issues. Uh, and I started talking to women about it, talking to other people about it, and I realized that I'm not the only one. I'm not alone on that, and I want to inspire other people to have more self-love without feeling guilty about it. Um, so that's why I'm really excited to, to do this. You know, I feel like I'm finally finding something that I can change people's lives, and I'm also really passionate about it. Uh, some of my hobbies. One of my hobbies is stand-up comedy. I uh, haven't turned into a full-time career quite yet, but comedy is something that really helped me, uh, you know, deal with my own issues. And as I like to say, it's like free therapy because you're actually working out the things that you're not uh, enjoying in your daily life and you can turn it into comedy. So I think that's the greatest thing about comedy, that it can actually come from pain and come from your daily annoyances, things that you don't like or that you got annoyed at, and you can turn that into laughter. So I think that's the biggest gift you can give an audience and yourself. <laughs> um, uh, three random facts about me. Well, I love avocado toast. That's a huge uh, passion of mine recently. I just found out about avocado toast. Uh, it's not too long ago, well, it's been a couple years, and I felt like, how could they have this my whole life? And I did not know about it. <laughs> so now I'm just really passionate about avocado. First of all, in Brazil, we don't put salt or pepper in our avocado. They only eat it as a dessert, and I never liked it uh, with sugar or, you know, in smoothies and things like that. And when I realized it could actually be in guacamole and avocado toast, it's just a whole new world opened up. Uh, also, I love traveling, uh, tropical beach destinations especially. Uh, a few of my favorite places, Costa Rica uh, is one, uh, Belize. Of course, I'm from Brazil, but I really like feeling like you're part of you know, this exotic destination that you haven't been before is that element of discovery that I really enjoy. So it's not just about being in a tropical destination, but also being somewhere you've never been before. That's one of the things I love and I hope to keep exploring the world. And something else, the beach. I love surfing and I have surfed a few times in my life, but I only like when the ocean is really warm. So being from Brazil, I'm not a big fan of the cold ocean. Even if you're wearing a wetsuit, I cannot go in it. But uh, if it's warm outside and the water is warm, so I've been surfing in uh, Hawaii, Costa Rica, and Brazil. Uh, <laughs> I'll try a few other destinations as I come along. Um, talk, let's talk about our skin, right? This is what we're supposed to talk about. So I think that my skin is definitely something that I've, you know, taken care of the most in my life, even without noticing sometimes, but I didn't go out in the sun. I always used uh, sunscreen. I didn't stay out in the sun too long. I always uh, moisturize and I always take off my makeup before I go to sleep. And I think these three things really made a huge difference. Everyone asks me now, oh, you look so much younger than your age. Or sometimes people think, you know, I'm still get, getting carded or they think I'm not 21 yet, which is a huge compliment. And I think it's a compliment to my skin, to really taking care of my skin. But it's not just about looking good, it's about health, right? and confidence.